Hi, my name is Jim Shields with Fluke Process Calibration Tools. We have performed a calibration test on this Rosemount 3051 transmitter, and the S-Found test failed. So now we need to do the adjustment uh, using the hard capabilities of the 729 to adjust this transmitter within specification and then run the S-Left test. To perform this, this adjustment, we would select Done from the S-Found screen, and we would see the tag and the serial number and the ID information, Done. So next I would select Heart Adjust, and I'll begin with um, the uh, pressure zero trim. So I'll select this and, and continue. I would want the uh, vented and then trim zero. So the, the pressure zero is trimmed, so I'll just select done. And next I would do the milliamps trim. Continue. So first I would fetch the uh, value that's being measured and then trim to make the adjustment for four milliamps. And then I would go to the next point. I would fetch the 20 milliamp value being measured and I would perform that adjustment. And then select done. Continue. And then I would run the as left test and confirm that the adjustments that I performed would solve the, the errors that we saw in the S found test. So S left and auto test. And the calibrator will go through and again repeat the test applying 0, 50, and 100 psi and then 50 and 0 psi while measuring for 4, 12, 20, 12, and 4 milliamps and calculating error percent on the measured milliamp signals. <clears throat> the first point is recorded the 0. Now it's going to go to the 50 psi and record the 50 psi uh, milliamp measurement. Now notice, now the milliamp measurement is showing in green because the error, the deviation of the milliamp signal is less than the designated test tolerance of 0.2%. 100 psi, this goes stable, and then we'll start going down to the 50 psi point and complete the S-Found, S-Left test. Now measuring 12 milliamps, you can see this is also in tolerance. And now to zero PSI to document the final test point. Notice now it says pass in green, and none of the errors are showing in red. So this indicates that the adjustment was successful, and we have adjusted out the errors of this Rosemount transmitter as documented in the says left test. It's done. Tag and serial number and ID of the person doing the work. Now this information is stored and documented in the calibrator and ready to be uploaded to a calibration management database such as DPC Track 2. Or, or some other uh, compatible application. Thank you for your time viewing this video. For more information, please contact your local Fluke representative or go to fluke.com and look for pressure calibration. Thank you.